Another day over here. We're about to repair a 2006 325 CI. Pretty cool car. We've got the convertible top. Oxygen sensors are going bad. So we got to repair all four. Got the covers off. And now he's taking out the first oxygen sensor. Remember guys, always use what? Always use Bosch. Bosch, BMWs. Oh, Bosch gives a little sponsorship. Shout out to Bosch. This is how you can tell if it's a lower or an upper stream. So the upper stream has this type of front plug. See, see the difference? Circle one on the bottom and the oval on top. You kind of want to wiggle your hand in there just to get like, just a little turn, like a little turn. coils right there and right beneath the coils the oxygen sensors right there okay. you know the saddest part about all this they didn't believe in us they didn't believe in us god did to take out these o2 sensors remember this is the tool this is the tool that you need to use in order for you to take out these O2 sensors. Um, so now on to the second one. Okay. This type of um, plugs, you always hit yourself on the knuckles. How many of you guys have ever had that problem? If you're a mechanic, have you ever done work on your car? How many of you guys had any? hit on your knuckles by unplugging something like this let's see how long my guy had to take to disconnect the sensor <laughs> junior just give me the lights and pass the joe Sometimes when it comes to jobs like this, you gotta get um, someone with nice and thin and small feminine hands. So my brother over here. Fuck you. <laughs> so the trick about putting the ultra sensor is that you have to turn it the way it would be if you would have to be tying it up. So when you do tie it up on the bottom, the core stays flexible to the way where it's actually turning, which is to the right side. So I wet it. So you see how I put both of them, but I didn't connect. I didn't have, I didn't put the connections to the ones that it came out for the plugs that they came out of the reason why was because the last one i under i know that is this one right here so i'm gonna put this one and then now i know that this one is for that one and so um we came underneath the car so we lifted it up right so you guys got to be careful with this you guys can't if you're not a professional please don't do this at home Gotta get underneath the vehicle. I'm gonna show you guys the O2 sensors. There's one right there and the other one's right there. These two O2 sensors are the ones that we need to be replaced. And here are the connections for the also, lower. Right here. So the this lower one. connections are right next to the upper connections. So remember, so as soon as you start playing here, you're done here, you jump to these and do the lower ones. Gotta get some food, a little break time. Got my boy over here. <laughs> I'll be over there talking to my boy EJ, the EJ, the DJ. We're also replacing the oil level sensor on this vehicle. We got it all connected. We got the lower, the upper stream up here, and these are the lower stream down here. So in order for us to take the sensor, the oil needs to be spilled. So you guys gotta have one of these trays to be ready for the oil to be taken out. You also have three screws, which is this one, this one, and then they have the plug, which is this one. This is the newest one that we have. 
newest sensor that we, this is the newest sensor that we have we're going to be putting it in just like that every time my guy wears these socks it's just like boom <laughs> hella cars come in i don't know what is that why you wear them that was crazy my lucky socks man Look.